Hi Cancer, Kaisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my day one foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. So this is just a general energy check-in. It may not resonate with everyone. Uh, so I wanted to do something different today. It's how the person that you are still energetically tied to how do they feel about you and what do they want with you? What's the outcome that they want with you? So if this reading doesn't resonate with you, there is a possibility that it may not be your reading. You can check your sun and moon rising. It can help you connect the dots. Or you can click the notification button. I'm sure Spirit will have a message for you at some point in time in the future. Or you can always book me for a personal reading. I do have a promotion right now where if you book me for a full in-depth personal reading, you will get three programs for absolutely free. That is the Kabbalah program, Universal Laws program, and the money program. So the link to book me is at the beginning of my description box. I, if you look at the bottom of my description box, there's a link to my online store where I offer other transformational products and services. Okay, so Cancers, cards have already been shuffled and drawn. Let's jump into your reading. We have King of Air. 11 of fire, ace of earth, thought in reverse, 11 of fire is in reverse as well. Hmm. So cancers, this person, they feel like you're very rigid they feel like you are, I'm hearing, stuck in your ways. Like you believe what you believe and that's that. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, they also feel like they were that way with you. That they weren't trying to compromise with you. They weren't trying to work with you. This person also feels like they were selfish with you. Mm -hmm. And they weren't, they weren't acting in your best interest. They weren't, they weren't being the best versions of, of themselves with you for some of you this person feels like they never helped you enough mm -hmm. but they do want they feel like you guys could have a new passionate beginning but <laughs> this this person feels like that's not even a thought like you're not even you wouldn't even consider that mm -hmm. this person they feel like you, they don't even cross your mind you don't think about them Mm -hmm. You don't think about being with them. Yeah. So what they want with you, Cancer, we have desire, which I'm not surprised, <laughs> and youth. Mm -hmm. So Cancers, this person that you are still energetically tied to, they have a desire to have a new beginning with you. Mm -hmm. They want to move forward. They want a new relationship. They want to renew the relationship. But they want to do it from a space of you guys are on the same page. You guys have the same vision. You guys want the same things. They want to show you that they are on the same wavelength as you. Spirit said, but they're not. Mm hmm they think, so they think that they are, but energetically they're not, not yet. But by then you're long gone. You're already gone, Cancers. Some of you, a small number of you, you're kind of standing there waiting, waiting to see what move this person is going to make. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to make a decision. But right now, for majority of you, you this person is right, how they feel. Like, you're not thinking about them. You're not thinking about getting back with them, having no passionate new beginning. No, you're done. Because this person knows. They know that they were very selfish with you in the relationship. They know that they did not put their best foot forward with you. Ugh, I'm hearing bum. For, for some of you, this person was like a bum. They did nothing. And they realize that. They know that, actually. It's not even they just realize it. They know that. They know that they weren't trying to help you do anything. And to a certain degree, they feel bad. 
it's like they're they're starting to go through things in their mind um uh, play back things that happened in the relationship and they're kind of remembering things and kind of wincing like oh man i shouldn't have I shouldn't have dealt with them like that. I shouldn't have did that. That was the wrong move to make. Mm -hmm. This person is in regret. Yeah. And there's a level of sadness, uh, energy of sadness that I feel here. And it's an energy of missing somebody. Yeah. As this person, they feel like you guys could have... You guys could have some kind of growth in the relationship if you would just give it a chance. But they know. They, f they feel like you're not even considering this. Like it, it's really not a thought for you to get back with them. Or to be with them or move forward with them in any way. But they have a really strong desire. They really do want to be with you, Cancer. Yeah. And they want to they go in a different direction. They want you guys to do things differently this time. Mm -hmm. Things smarter. You know, like learn from the past and do things differently this time. For some of you, this person wants to travel with you. This person wants to show you who they are now. Yeah. They want to show you the changes that they've made. And it's like they want to prove to you that they can they can be the person that you want them to be in a relationship. Like they, they want to prove to you that they can show up mm -hmm. and handle their business. Because I'm hearing handle their business. But they have a really strong desire to manifest you back into their life. Yeah. They want a, a new journey. They want to go on a new journey with you. Absolutely. I'm hearing waiting. This person is kind of, they're waiting. They're waiting to see what is going to happen. They're waiting to see what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. For some of you, this person is worried. They're worried if they come towards you, what you will say. Because they really feel like you do, you do not give them a second thought. Mm -hmm. And cancers, I can feel your energy. You, most of you don't. Because this person was selfish in the relationship. But Cancers, you're being selfish now too. You're being selfish and you're focusing on yourself. Mm -hmm. Focusing on being happy. Some of you are already with someone else. Mm -hmm. Okay, so some of you are already with someone else and things are not all that great with the other person, but they're way better than how they were with this person who's still energetically attached to you. Cancers, book me for a reading. Pick up the Kabbalah program, get the programs. The Kabbalah program is all about the tree of life, as within, so without, as above, so below. So it talks about the true reality of what is going on within you is what you create on the outside. So if you have not fully healed from someone and you're still hurt, you're still angry, you still have resentment, you're still sad, that is the experiences that you are going to be creating or manifesting in your life with someone else. It's just like um, the concept of bringing baggage from your old relationship into your new relationship. So it's wise for you to heal. Take your time and heal. Deal with any inner issues that you need to deal with so that you are you're creating a fresh start for yourself from the inside out. Because now you have decluttered, you know, drop the emotional baggage. So the people, the experiences that you attract into your life now, they will match how you feel on the inside. If you feel light, right, because you've dropped emotional baggage, you will attract people who feel that way as well. Mm -hmm. You will attract people who don't have baggage. So this is just, a, I, I'm, I don't know why I'm going on this tangent, but Spirit said you should hear this. <laughs> Right, So if you're in a relationship with someone right now and it's not all that great, it's because you need to do some emotional cleaning, emotional spring cleaning, winter cleaning, all season cleaning, uh, some emotions that you have, emotional baggage that you have, Cancers. Uh, I encourage you to take a look at my online store. I have a lot of programs that help you to clear away um, emotional baggage, heal emotional wounds. You know, those are the hardest wounds to heal because you can't see them. 
It's not like you can put a band-aid over them. You can only suppress them for so long before they manifest in your life in some way, shape, or form. So it would be wise to deal with things from the root of instead of just dealing with the symptoms, right? Because that will only get you so far. And at the end of the day, you still have to go back to the source to deal with it. So cancers, this person desires to have a new beginning with you, a new passionate beginning with you, but they're, they're worried. They feel like you're not even, you wouldn't even consider it. <laughs> I'm hearing someone saying, and you're right. <laughs> I would not consider it. Okay. Okay, cancers, this is what I have for you. If this reading resonates with you, can I get a like? Um, these are pretty, uh, just quick reads, you know, just to give you a little check up um update on what's going on in your life so with that being said i'm going to wrap this up you have yourself a fantastic morning noon or night and i will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side bye